a way to format your answer as currency so that it doesn't say that, you know, like in my case, the tip is 2.1, all right? Figure out a way to make it look nice so that it looks like a dollar amount, all right? Um, I don't feel guilty by like not covering that in class because there's going to be a thousand and one things that we can't cover in class that you're going to encounter that you're going to have to look up. And maybe it's in the book. Maybe you can do a quick Google search. If you really, really get stuck, let me know and I'll, I'll help you find the answer for it. We're going to use, Thursday will be the starting point for the refactoring business where we're going to take this code and tighten it up. Now, again, you look at this code, it's not earth-shattering code. All right, this isn't some sort of complex algorithm. But again, to illustrate the principles, I think it's better to have a smaller example and that, that illustrate all the principles, and, and then you can build up to doing, to doing bigger ones. But we'll analyze, first of all, what is wrong with this code. In fact, that's your special challenge question between now and Thursday. Hey, why don't we just leave it like this and call it a night? All right, what is wrong with this code? So give some thought to that, because that will be one of the first questions I ask on Thursday. All right, any questions? All right, I don't really think it would be good to start the next part, so we'll wrap this one up today, and we'll pick up on um, the next phase uh, in the next class.